Hi, my name is Dr. Rich Minlo and I'm the fish vet. Performing regular water changes is part of maintaining a healthy aquarium. In this video, we're going to show you some of the easiest ways and safest ways on how to start a siphon. To remove water from the aquarium, people use a hose to siphon the water out. A lot of people start the siphon action by using their mouth. But you can get a mouthful of dirty aquarium water and that's bad because there are a lot of diseases that you can catch from the aquarium. One of the ways that you can start a siphon is to use a bowl valve. Now this item here you can actually purchase from your local hardware store or your auto parts store. And it's normally used to siphon uh, fuel from your car. So basically you get this, um, this gadget and place it into your hose and then you can start siphoning. So to start the siphon, basically put the tube into the water and then jiggle it back and forth. And the bowl and the spring will act to trap the water in there. And basically, here you go. So what if you don't have a bowl valve and you just have a straight piece of hose? I'll show you a different way very ingenious way of starting a siphon. So what you do is you put one end of the hose into the aquarium uh, so that you fill it with water and you kink that side. Make sure you position the other end into the bucket and basically you raise it so that the water uh, on, on this part of the hose is going to be at lower uh, than the height of water at the end of this hose. And when you're done, you can actually release the other end at the siphon to start. So that method takes a bit of coordination. I'm going to show you a different way uh, where you actually fill up the entire hose with water. Oh, you don't have to do the entire hose, but a lot of it. Then you put your thumb over end and you trap the water that's in there and this gives you a, bit, a little bit more control as well over where this other end of the water goes otherwise you end up with water all over your floor so with the top end in your tank the bottom end here just release your thumb and the water will flow so those are just a few of the many ways of starting a siphon and if you've got other ideas feel free to post them in the comment section below so until then, thank you for watching and please subscribe so you get updates of our latest videos and have a fantastic week.